Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again, everyone. No lack of drama on this Friday. The Red Hawks needing to win their final two games of the season to keep their hopes alive for an OVC baseball regular season title. SEMO hosting Eastern Illinois. Uh, Colin Willman on the mound, and he'll go ahead and, and get the strikeout right there. So he, he ends that inning and really, really trying to keep Eastern Illinois, their bats down there, really hitting them hard. The Red Hawks trying to get their bats going. And Lincoln Andrews, the double right there. He sends that one out there, and it looks like the Simo's in good shape. But the problem with this game, and it's been a problem during their losing streak, or getting those runs in at the critical times. Watch this line drive from Gunnar Doyle, but right at the center fielder. And that was that for that inning. And really, for all intents and purposes, they could not get runs home again. 7 to 2. Simo's OVC hopes are over with that Eastern Illinois winning at least regular season. The tournament starts next week in Marion. They'll wrap up the regular season tomorrow. Now from OVC to MVC baseball, SIU beats Murray State 11 to 4. The two Heartland teams will wrap up their regular season tomorrow. The Saluki softball team opening NCAA tournament play against host and top seeded Utah. So we're out to Salt Lake City. And really, SIU is down six to nothing. You thought, oh no, but here they come. Scored five runs in the third, and then they would also tie it with four runs in the sixth. They're playing the number one seed, but they just couldn't hold on at the end. Utah got a couple of late runs, and Utah wins it 11 uh, to nine, but a heck of a game. Saluki's definitely held their own. All right, congrats to the Saxony Lutheran boys volleyball team. The Crusaders won their first district title earlier this week over St. Pius. I'll have that video tonight and also check in on their quarterfinal game with this Met. So they are still playing, still getting things going out there and uh, certainly wishing the best. And finally, the sports world has lost an all time great NFL legend. Jim Brown has died at the age of 87. Brown shattered records during his relatively short NFL career, leading Cleveland to their last championship in 1964. Uh, he re retired in his prime to become an actor. Brown appeared in more than 30 films, was also a prominent leader in the black power movement of the 1960s, dedicated much of his life to social causes, and many consider him simply the greatest for everything he did from a career that only spanned from 1957 to 65.